It is the 27th of March. Let's do a brief report on the high cap and the low cap when that comes up. Let's go into our stats. We have a trade in Dash, ENJ, RCN, and on the low cap, there was a trade in DLT, I think it was, that I missed because I had the settings wrong. Now it's corrected and the next trades should come through successfully. Let's take a look at these charts. I'm going to start off with RCN. We can see here that the trade signal successfully crossed the 12 hour EMA right here. That is our entry signal. We'll watch now for this to continue on and we'll stay in this until the four hour EMA crosses over with the automated system. Now you can log in to the Zignali platform and put your stop loss above the entry where wherever the entry is. When this gets to the uh, comfortable position for you, you can bump your stop loss up so that you would be protected if things came back and you wouldn't risk any of your initial capital. And the system will wait for that four hour EMA to cross. Let's take a look at Dash and ENJ. Dash, we'll take a look at. You can see here that the 12 hour EMA crossed right here. That's our entry signal. This was the price at that time. So this blast up gave us enough time for that EMA to cross because we have been going down and sideways long enough. And the four hour EMA gave us the first partial exit on this. So this was a 15% or 14% loss on that initial part of the trade. Now remember, this entire system is set up so that we're expecting to trade 100 different altcoins at once. So if you were trading with one Bitcoin, then you should be trading with one half of 1% of that Bitcoin for every one trade. That would be 0 0.005 for this trade, which would be about, I don't know, 30 bucks right now. And so now we closed $15 of that $30 trade as a protection because prices didn't do what we expected. And we'll close the other $15 of that $30 trade if it continues down in the 12 hour EMA crosses. And then if we are there, the system will watch again for the 12 hour EMA to cross positive and we'll enter in again with another $30 of our trade. Let's go to ENJ, which has also been a signal right here. You can see the 12 hour EMA crossed. So that gave us our signal. And this brings up a question about the bull market watch color coded spreadsheet versus the bot. We can see here that the color coded spreadsheet actually went from neutral into alert status on the 19th of March out of the smaller bottom formation. And we took a hold status right out of that one, two, three bottom. It was very clean. We got into a clear opening and we are fortunate right now at the 26th and 27th of March to have another cross that we could get into with the automated spreadsheet. So the bull market watch is often a little bit different than the automated system because this is manual and we can filter better for the one, two, three formations better with this system because we can manually look at them. Whereas the automated bot just goes by the EMA crosses filtered by the MACD being in a positive bias on the weekly time frame. So it's a lot more mechanical and it's not quite the same as this. Now, the other question that I was going to answer is, if these trades have already gone by and you just started your subscription now and you see that this is a positive or profitable trade, the system will not put this on for you. The trade signal has already gone by and you will have to put this on as a manual trade yourself, put on that $30 trade yourself and you'll have to manage this manually. The system will not exit that trade for you when the 12 and the four hour EMAs cross. So if you're late getting into the system, you'll just have to build out your portfolio more carefully because you're not getting in when, when the ball crossed the home plate and swinging the bat at the right time. You're swinging it afterwards and it takes more consideration to know if you're getting in at the right time or if like that dash trade, you're actually getting in on the, the worst time and things pulled back immediately from there. Another benefit of the bull market watch visual spreadsheet is for those trades that we have missed out on already that have started their moves. We could use this spreadsheet to help us, you know, uh, uh, decide if we're going to get into a trade better. But more than that, the pro alerts take care of adding on to these trades and looking at the technical analysis for many different entry points. So if you are late on a trade, don't just blindly buy it, but come and ask for timing over on the pro alerts in our discord chat. And we can bring up a chart for any one of these coins that are already in hold status and go through the process of deciding, is it a good time at that moment in this coin that's already in hold status for a while that takes some review at this moment to know if you should be adding on to this or what you should do. And that's not covered here. 
So with that, be sure to come and ask questions about any of these markets over on our Discord chat. I love talking about this stuff. I want to help out. The most important thing about this whole channel is the education that goes along with it, not just the automation. Anyway, see you in the next video. Cheers.